Alrighty, we are recording. Hey, we're about halfway up the road, you guys, to uh, Moab, Utah. I'm in my motorhome, a 33-foot Winnebago Voyage. I have my GoPro on the right windshield looking out. Let's go ahead and uh, head on up to Moab, Utah, where I took off uh, hang gliding 36 years ago in 1978. So I'll give you a chance to see some uh, really beautiful video out there. At Moab, Utah in 1978, a hang glider pilot here in Moab got together all kinds of uh, paperwork for the uh, national parks and was able to get this site and obtain it for the Moab World Invitational which was the top 40 pilots in the world competing together here. And it was just an unbelievable place to fly. Anyway, my friend Tim Turner and I came out here along with another friend of ours named Scott Priegel. Scott drove his Camaro. And I came out here with Tim Turner in his uh, Volkswagen. So anyway, on the day of the contest, uh, I was the most experienced pilot here, I guess, because they wanted me to go off first. So I set off my Will's Wing cross-country glider. I, I took off the, the X-C. I left just the X on. So I call it my Brand X from Will's Wing. <laughs> A very distinctive glider. So I got my Will's Wing XC out, set it up, and I was the first person to take off of Dead Horse Point State Park. And there was a sports illustrator photographer up there who took a picture. Not only was he up there, but there had to have been at least 2,000 people surrounding the entire rim to watch my first flight off. And uh, I'll be editing the picture of that flight, but in the meantime, I'll give you the story of Dead Horse Point of what happened and why it was called Dead Horse Point in a second here. I'm getting excited. I haven't been here for 36 years, since 1978. Today's date is April 7th, 2014. Woohoo! This is really great. One of the most exciting places that I've ever flown. If not the most challenging and exciting. And here's the sign that's going to say Dead Horse Point State Park. Right there she goes. This is the plateau. Horse Point State Park is four miles ahead. The uh, legend of Dead Horse Point State Park, uh, it happens that back in the old days, in the early 1900s, they had a whole bunch of wild Mustangs. They were going to try and corral the Mustangs. So they actually, in this big giant plateau here, it was a natural corral because up here a little ways, it's not too far away, there's a little bottle, a, a bottlenose where it's only about 30 yards wide. And from there it goes straight down 2,000 feet. So it's a perfect natural corral to put a fence and a gate across that 30 yard strip and take all the Mustangs, corral them into the, uh, to, into the gates onto this natural plateau. Well, the story goes, Make sure this guy's going to stop here. What happens, the story goes, is that uh, being a natural corral, somebody forgot to open the gate and let the uh, horses back out again. So literally the horses were within view of the Colorado River, all the water they could drink, but they weren't able to get to it because they were 2,000 feet up on a sheer cliff completely surrounding their entire corral. So by being surrounded by the corral, they couldn't get down 
to the water and they all died. I don't know how many there were, but there are probably well over a thousand stallions and the wild horses that were within reach of the water, they couldn't get to the water, so they died. Therefore, this point is called Dead Horse Point State Park. Yeah, this is the place to pay the fee. I'll get out there and get some pictures for you. Well, this is not the exact location I took off. I want to show you one of the lookout points that they have here for people to see. This is 2,000 feet. It's a sheer cliff. And the very bottom there, you can see the Colorado River out towards the mountains. Spectacular place carved out in time, but what an incredible place to go hang gliding. Taking you on the adventure with me. <laughs> Man, unbelievable. I'm about to look at the little side launch we took off of too. Over here to the to the right. There's a little girl over there that's uh, sitting on top of a ledge. We took off out that way too. <laughs> I want to see the exact place I took off from when they took all the Sports Illustrated picture and there were people just lined up right and left to take shots. That was the very first one off and we had a contest here for a week long. Week long contest. See if that little point is still here. I think it's up a little higher. Yep, up a little higher. And we ended up landing right down there where the roads come together. There's the Colorado. Okay, I'm gonna go search out my little takeoff spot. Up, oh, I found the ledge. Here it is. Here is the ledge that I took off from 36 years ago. And this retaining wall is still the same. That's how much space we had right here to run. So you can see we had about five steps. We took off, and the infamous hang gliding picture was shot right off this ledge here from a Sports Illustrated guy. <laughs> Beautiful. Dead Horse Point State Park. Okay, that's probably the shot that we got uh, from Sports Illustrated, pretty close. I'm going to take a still picture with my phone to get it as well. But uh, I'm standing up here on top of the ledge, this little ledge right here. They've added about two feet to that since I took off the brand new orange stuff on top. Pretty neat. My friend Tim Turner and I got to the contest a couple days early. So I first keel launched him off this site. After he launched, I then launched. At the day of the contest, they actually used a ramp that they would put down here off the launch site. There's a couple of pictures I have of the ramp being brought down and being set up that you're seeing now. It just made it much easier to take off from a level platform to a ramp to get your airspeed. It was sure a lot of fun.
main road here is going to take us through the town of Moab and then on to Farmington, New Mexico for tonight.